hey there uh, welcome back uh, so uh, welcome to the new project uh, video so in this uh, video series we are going to uh, build a, a google docs clone which is going to be a lot of learning uh, for uh, you guys as well as to me so we're gonna um, build a google docs with uh, real-time collaboration with multiple users and how does that happen using sockets uh, web sockets concept and all so this is going to be a lot of learning and uh, very interesting project so let me uh, show you the sneak peek first so as soon as uh, we start the application so this is how the uh, login page is going to look like okay so as of now we don't have a a login ac account to login so what we do we just click on need an account and this is the register page and uh, this is where we are uh, try to register using our email so let me first do this with an example account so i'm just giving uh, trying to create one account so okay and uh, so let's so as soon as i click on register the user should be registered and the email has to be sent for him to verify his email and then only we'll be able to let the user login okay so clicking on this you see is successfully registered and please check your uh, inbox to verify your email address okay so now what we'll do we'll go to my uh, inbox and uh, click on the link that is shared to us okay so here click quickly i will just log into that okay so if you see here this is where i got this email so clicking on this you see here successfully verified your email address so now the email is verified now i'll be able to log into google docs okay so let me uh, enter my details which i have just created okay so here yep uh, now you see uh, this is the home page so as soon as uh, the user is logged in this is what will be showcasing uh, the option to create a new uh, document and uh, what are the documents he has created and is there any documents that are shared with him okay so this is how we're going to uh, showcase the home page so now if you see the uh, creating uh, starting a new button so the user would be able to uh, change the file name so i'm giving it as a file name and uh, here you can just type in you know i am now uh, new i'm new document something like this so now uh, so this will be uh, changing and automatically saved into our database okay and there is an option for him to the uh, share okay so these are like now if you click on this so here we will be able to share this to the email address okay so as of now i have created a one more account okay so i'm just going to share that in order to showcase you how this collaboratively editing is going to work so here i'm just going to queue this and share this and now the email will be sent to this email and accordingly the user can start editing this document okay so now okay so this is the how we are going to share and also we can just remove uh, the user as we have added okay and here we can restrict only to the people i share or else uh, i can make it as a public that is then whoever are registered uh, into our application they will be able to see this uh, documentation or else if you just uh, restrict to the people only shared only they will be able to view so this is or we are going to handle it okay and this is the sharing uh, feature okay and clicking on this if you see the will be able option to log out here okay so and also here this is like undo so whatever we edit and this is to redo option so there is an option for redo and undo and clicking on this it's going to take back to our home page okay now we have created a documentation a recent documents which is a file name okay and here i'd be able to delete this document and clicking on this it's uh, it's going to open back uh, that document and uh, we can edit it okay so this is the uh, high level the core feature so we are going to handle the authentication using json web tokens okay and uh, everything we are going to store in the postgres sql database and uh, front end completely react we are going to use okay and uh, backend apis and all we're going to build it like an enterprise application and backend apis we're going to use the uh, node.js express js things and we're going to make it as clear as possible you know properly following the file structures to build apis and then go with the 
a front end part to consume this apis and build components and accomplish this thing okay so and also we are going to use smtp server for this application i'm going to use the gmail smtp server itself but i highly recommend you to create one smt server and then use those credentials here and create an email uh, of own which is related to application and then use that okay but i'm using my personal one okay so yeah so this is the gist now let me showcase you very interesting part that is like you know, collaborating and parallelly editing the document so that is uh, how are we going to accomplish that that is again very important uh, feature that we'd be learning so we do we will use the socket.io so which we can uh, uh, i mean uh, trigger emit uh, the events and uh, make parallel updates in both the uh, documents uh, wherever the uh, document is shared with okay so let me showcase you that now okay fine so now you see on the left side i opened uh, using this uh, one my account which i have just created and right side i opened using the other account which i already created okay so now i shared this file name to this user so if you see here under the shared documents you can see the file name has been shared with this uh, user okay now if you click on this file name you see immediately the reflection okay who are on or uh, on this page will be able to will be able to see here and parallelly if i start editing here you know uh, uh, so you see the reflection in our uh, the other uh, this account okay so even if i do this here so let me type this something so here this is where uh, collaboratively uh, we will be able to edit this and uh, see immediate reflection using the uh, web socket so this is going to be very exciting and this is what i wanted to showcase okay so yeah so this is how uh, the uh, live uh, collaborating and editing the documents is going to happen so at high level i wanted to showcase you this now yeah so if i go back here now let me uh, do the same here let me share this with this uh, the user which we have just created so if i go back here i should be able to see this okay so if you see here the file 2 is shared with me and i am able to so now if i remove this so you see uh, fine so now if i remove this i, sh I should be denied the access to that so let me remove this so if i go back and see here the shared documents uh, uh, access is revoked okay so this is going to be very interesting and a lot of learning so this is at high level i wanted to showcase you guys so if you see the db okay this is the uh, documents that we are created so you see the documents reflection is there and also we can see the uh, list of the users present in our application so these are the two users i have created and we are going to use this uh, and tech boys i already mentioned so this is going to be very detailed and a lot of learning from this project and i hope you guys will like it so yeah this is what i wanted to share with you guys and uh, this is it at high level that we are going to build and yeah uh, so this is the thing i wanted to showcase you thank you so much and uh, from next video onwards we'll get started building first the back end part so the APIs will first build those APIs and then once APIs are ready and we have thoroughly tested, we we'll go ahead with the front end uh, building part that is components and uh, configuring the pages and state management stuff and consuming these APIs. Yeah, that is it. Thank you so much.